Kwashiorkor is a nutritional disease often found in developing countries. It was first identified early in the 20th century. It's also known as protein malnutrition. So what is Kwashiorkor? What causes it? How can it be prevented or treated? Well, the name Kwashiorkor comes from one of the languages of Ghana. It basically means the deposed child. So in the early months of a baby's life, they're normally breastfed. However, in many developing countries, others often have several babies, one after the other. It can result in the older baby being deposed off the breast, instead fed on grains and roots like maize, rice, cassava, plantain, and sweet potato. And these foods do contain both substantial amounts of calories and carbohydrates, so they appear to satisfy the food requirements of a growing child. But the diet lacks proteins and amino acids, which are found in large quantities in breast milk and are required for a healthy childhood development. This low protein intake causes health problems for the child, both in the short term and also in the long term. One obvious effect is fluid retention. This is due to the lymphatic system not functioning properly. The lymphatic system would normally reabsorb excess water in the rest of the body, returning the water to the blood and circulation system. The consequence of this malfunction results in a familiar symptom of a distended belly. And not surprisingly, the disease also results in muscle wastage, so that young children end up with stick-thin arms and legs. It also impairs brain development, leading to vulnerability to other diseases, including liver disease actually directly killed the infant. Children also get urinary tract infections and may result in the body not pumping enough blood around the body, a whole host of other medical issues. The disease may even turn the hair yellow or orange. Our quashial core is fairly common in children in the developing world. It can also occur in adults in the developed world, but for a different reason. Instead of having a low protein diet, some alcoholics have serious damage to some of their organs. This can reduce the amount of protein they're actually able to be absorbed from their diet, again resulting in developing quashial core. Kidney disease, burns and other trauma can also result in adults developing the condition. So other than for adults with protein absorption issues, the treatment for quashial core is relatively simple. By increasing the protein levels in the diet, for instance, by substituting what they're currently eating for more high-protein foods. This can be adding fish, peas, beans, nuts, seeds, eggs, and low-fat meat into their diet. However, the most obvious food replacement is some form of milk. And this may in turn go part of the way in explaining why the 20th century was a time when kwashi or gore was first identified in developing countries. Now, as developing countries started to develop and change, the people living in those countries migrated from rural areas and into towns and cities. Now, before this happened, the people living in the rural areas, even the poorest ones, tended to have a few chicken and goats to supplement their daily diet with eggs and milk. But with a move to a more urban environment, keeping goats became far more difficult, and even the number of chickens able to be kept was reduced. This then resulted in a lower protein diet for their children. Reintroduction of small chain scale chicken rearing in urban areas combined with the distribution of what was once the bane of the developing world, powdered milk, may help in reducing the number of cases of quashi or core. Now the rightful stigmatization of powdered milk in developing countries dates back to when major corporations were trying to sell their products in the developing world attempted to convince young mothers that powdered milk was better than breast milk. Now, while young mothers should in most cases still be breastfeeding for the first six months of the baby's life, as the children get older, powdered milk could be useful in preventing cases of quashi or gore, as long as it isn't watered down too much. There's another issue with powdered milk as parents try to stretch out a limited supply of powder because of a limited budget.